right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to play this pretty cool but simple halftime pattern uh, using some upbeat hi-hats and a simple little bass. Um, and it's a kind of a fun little groove, cool to add it to like a funk tune or like maybe a pop tune or something to kind of mix it up a little bit. If you dig grooves like this, check out my book, Tactical Drumming Groove Survival Guide. I'll put a link for it in the description. And if you dig this video, please like and subscribe. Okay, so let's dig into this thing. It's actually pretty simple. All right, so well, at least there's a lot of stuff going on in it, but the concept is pretty simple. So all I'm really doing between my right and left hand is I'm actually just playing 16th notes. I'm going. And then there's a little double on the end as I get to three. One, the end of two, the end of three. Let's do it again. One, the end of two, the end of three. Now you can play it as a double on the end. One, the end of two, the end of three. Or you can play it without the double. One, the end of two, the end of three. So that's all I'm doing. One, the end of two, the end of three. Four, one, the end of two, the end of three. Four, the end of one. And I keep adding into that. One, the end of two, the end of three. The end of four, the end of one, the end of two, the end of three. So basically just between it, taking off the ride cymbal, I was playing. Slowly, one the end of two the end, three the end of four the end of one the end of two the end, three and a four the end of one. That's right, left, right, left, right, left, right. And then together, right, left, right, left, right. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Right, now in the bass room, I think I was playing something like. Just uh, uh, uh. Uh, 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 uh. uh, uh. Right? I'm just gonna add those sixteenths over the top of it. Right, a little slower. The way I like to do the high is I'm gonna start the high it up one and two and three and four. And then I'm just gonna play sixteenth notes over it, right? Maybe on the rim. So we got. Right, now I'm gonna put my left hand on the snare, keep those ghost notes low, right? Split it up. One, and two, and three, and four, and. Now I'm gonna play the pattern, right? Remember it was. Zika, dika, dika, do, ka, dika, dika, do, right? Notice that the left hand, that accent, actually happens on beat three. So this is going to be opposite of it because these are happening on the up. One E and the two E and three. And the four E and one E and the two E and three. And the four E and. Think about the hands. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Together. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Together. Now put on a ride. Put in context ready and. Now the next thing we gotta do is get that bass drum. Uh, uh, uh. Three, four, bum, bum, bum. Now notice the first one is on beat one. So right, it's one, two, three, four, and and boom, right? The next one's on a, on a one hand up. So we go uh, uh, three, and four, and uh, uh. And the last one's on the hi hat. Uh, uh, together. Three, four, uh, uh, together. Now we have the sixteenths. Uh, uh, together, uh, uh, together, uh, uh, together. Of course, you can slow that down if you need to. Uh, uh, together, two, three, and four. Bum, bum, oops, uh, bum, bum, together. Uh, uh, bum, bum, together. Uh, and bum, bum, together. And stop. Now we're going to add it to the ride and put that accent on three. Oh, one. Two, ready, and... 